Okay, it's too windy to be at the beach. It's three to five feet, so it's gonna be too loud. So I thought I'd just do a video here at the house. You know, yesterday I talked about a uh, process called glucuronization, and it's a very important process because it's, uh, especially with resveratrol, which we talked about before, when you eat resveratrol, it goes into the stomach, it's digested into the system, goes into the liver, it's attached to a glucuronide molecule, which then may, means it's not gonna be absorbed for a while. So it goes back into the bowel, and travels through the bowel where the gut bacteria can use an enzyme to cut the bond with the glucuronide and the resveratrol can go through the cells, probably the M cells, I'm thinking, because it's got to be into cytosis, into the cell, and then pass through into the bloodstream. It's a whole different process. I talk about it in the book, the next book. Uh, I used to write for Maximum Yield magazine, and in particular, the health aspects with regards to growing cannabis. One of the problems is the amount of toxic chemicals a lot of these growers have to deal with, and uh, and they just get recirculated because toxins also are attached to glucuronide molecules, and in that same gut bacteria environment, the toxic the, uh, the enzymes break that bond and the toxins are absorbed. You have this constant source of toxic re-exposure and reabsorption, recycling happening all the time, unless you can stop that that activity. Um, I've used this myself. It's a a material called calcium deglucarate. It's, here it is right here. Calcium deglucarate is a, uh, a calcium salt that actually prevents that bond from being broken. It neutralizes the enzyme, the bond isn't broken, the toxin can be brought out of the bowel. Okay? This is really important because there's a lot of things we get exposed to really quickly that you can get out of the body really fast before it gets you know, deeply in, you know, put into long-term storage with calcium deglucarate. Just look it up, you can get it on iHerb and all these other places. Um, this is really important for uh, you know, exposures to all kinds of stuff. Remember once I had some dental surgery and they pumped me all full of lidocaine for, uh, uh, for the, uh, you know, the pain issue involved with that. And I had just learned about calcium deglucarate, so I took a whole bunch of it and, uh, you know, four or five pills. And that afternoon after the surgery, I started evacuating in the toilet and smelled like lidocaine. So I knew right then and there this stuff is really effective and it really prevents the, uh, uh, the bond being broken. Uh, and in some respects, it's really important for like resveratrol, which we talked about. When that bond is, is allowed to be formed in the liver, it goes back into the, into the uh, intestines. So it's traveling down the enterocytes that line the wall all the way from your esophagus all the way down to the anus, is that these then have a chance to be affected by the, the uh, bacteria, enzymes being produced, and the bond is broken, resveratrol goes back in the system, back to the lower bowel, especially in some of these cells that need it, because the enterocytes have sirtuins, they have to stay healthy and, and safe. So resveratrol goes into the bloodstream, so it goes through the blood vascular system to be absorbed by cells. It goes into the bowel, so slowly it gets broken back into free resveratrol to go back into the cells to help your enterocytes and the, uh, the colonocytes and lower bowel especially. Uh, but I wanted to just sort of touch on this whole idea of glucuronidation and introduce this stuff called calcium deglucarate. It's great for if you've been exposed to something, get rid of it very quickly. Uh, it's something you don't want to take all the time because a lot of this glucuronidation is happening to allow hormones to be reabsorbed because hormones are neutralized in the liver after a point. And if that enzyme is cutting the bond, the hormone gets re, re, you know, reinfused into the system again, which means you don't have to make as much hormone output, which is a good thing. Um, generally though, in this environment, which I've talked about, this seemingly safe world that really isn't, the amount of toxic exposure um, kind of has to be considered all the time. Um, the drinking water, the foods, the air, depending on what you're exposed to, uh, these things get in the system, and this system of glucuronidation actually allows stuff to be reabsorbed. In a toxic environment, that's not so good. In a healthy environment, no problem because all the good stuff's being reabsorbed. Anyway, just a little word of the wise on that. And uh, again, the resveratrol deal is still on. Link below, two for one sale. And uh, like this video, please. You know, this really helps my ranking. It gets the message out to more people. Uh, I've stopped all advertising on my channel because I think it's an interruption into the message. Um, so I'm not making money on YouTube. So anyway, the, uh, the idea here is get the books, Phoenix Protocol, Neogenesis, 
soon to be Wow Genesis coming up on the third book. And I will talk to you soon. Have a great day. Yes? Can you remind people to subscribe, please, sir? What now? Please. Oh, very well.